My name is Lem Sisse and I am a writer and an artist and I am trustee here at the Foundley Museum and yeah, and, uh, that's, that's me. So it's really interesting that these tokens were used as an administrative tool for the institution to identify where the child is from. But for the mother, every letter that she has written on this token is infused, is emotionally charged and is a bridge between her and not her and in the institution at all. The institution may want her to uh, write the name, her name or the child's name or find some identification point. No, this is the only emotionally charged connection that that mother has outside of the DNA between them. The are words used which tell us so much about the mother who wrote it and about the father whose name she includes in it. And his name's James Concannon, so I am, although she says from Jamaica, I don't know his race, I don't know if he's uh, African Jamaican, there are lots of white Jamaicans and there are lots of Indian Jamaicans, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And Kincannon is an Irish name as well. So you, there's so much given in this. And the mother will have given the, father, the child the father's second name. I've, I have a strong feeling that that would have been the case. This won't be the mother's, the mother's second name. She'll have given him the name of the gentleman. A name is a keyhole into which, if you look, you will see a vast room, the first room of the house of family. I have a letter of my mother pleading for me back to a social worker whose name was Norman. Now, for the first 15 years of my life, I thought my name was Norman. I have a reply letter from the social worker to my mother refusing me to her where he calls me Lem. So there you have evidence of the first lie. The lie was that my social worker had already named me after himself, given me to foster parents and said, you can keep this child forever. He was writing back to my mother using the name Lem after he had illegally named me Norman because the name on my birth certificate is Lem Sisse. So I have proof of the lie, basically, in the writing. And that led me to... Um, that letter from my mother actually led me to find her. I have the equivalent of a token in my mother's handwriting, which I received when I was 15. And I have analyzed that letter and I have gone back through that letter to the time when she was 21 years of age. And I've followed her footsteps from there. And I've seen through her writing where the stresses were in her life, as if I could see the imprint and the load that she was carrying 
based on the patterns inside that imprint. Uh, um, and then I followed her footsteps from that first shock of losing me to the moment that I walked up the steps to her house and could hear her shuffling her real footsteps on the other side of the door. So I, I know the value of a token.